right there. It's another one. Clusters of dead crabs along the Hillsborough Bay has fishery biologist Ryan Rindone scratching his head. The ones and twos scattered all the way down the seawall. For him, this is a first. I've lived here for eight years, and this is the first time I've been along the seawall and seen this many like this. With red tide killing off marine life in surrounding counties, it's a theory that can't be ruled out, but the FWC says it hasn't tested the bay's water for the phenomenon in the last week. There's a number of different things that, that, that could be implicated here. The Florida Aquarium's veterinarian says disease could also be a possibility. We see animal die-offs uh, for a number of different reasons over the course of the year. Um, it can be related to water change. Usually there'll be some sort of either viral or bacterial disease outbreak. Rindone says if it is red tide, you wouldn't just be seeing dead crabs. You would have seen dead fish first in a lot of cases, not all the time, but in a lot of cases. And the crabs could end up suffocating as the, as the bloom gets really bad. It could also just be industrial. Tampa Bay is a very dynamic body of water. There's a lot of development going just about the entire way around. So there's a lot of runoff from residential and municipal areas. There's a lot of industry that's on the bay. So some manner of runoff from any of those areas could have affected the crabs in a bad way. Now, Linda, if red tide was the culprit here, what would happen is the crabs would end up suffocating if this algae bloom got really bad because as the algae bloom decomposes in the water, it pulls out the oxygen from the water. And so all of the marine life that filters water through its gills to breathe, like crabs, would end up suffocating. Back to you. It's affecting a lot of our wildlife. Thank you, Jennifer.